kiss. It's okay. We're married. It's allowed. <laughs> well, we're lovers. Let's kiss. So. You guys, welcome to the LuLaRoe show. This is Mark and Deanne doing their jig and dance. You guys are cute. Okay, we're going to wait for her, for Sabrina to get on here. Okay, and other people, so spread the word because, you know. Oh, this is a good one, Fabulous today. Friday, fabulous Friday, this Friday, 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 Friday. I know, I don't know. I don't know what's going Well, what's good about it is we're on. We're here. And we're present. Friday, Friday, Friday. We got Friday. up, we got dressed, and we showed up. What's that song, Jordan? Got to get back on no, Friday. I got, I got back up. No, yeah, I got yeah. knocked down. I got knocked down. Oh, no, I get I knocked down, down, but I get up again. Been, you're never gonna keep me down. I get down. knocked down, yeah, I but I get up again. You're on. never gonna keep me yeah. down. Let's see, Sabrina. I'm, I'm waiting to be accepted. You haven't, you haven't requested. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Mark, he's a, he's a big tough cream buff, isn't he? Yes, you are. <laughs> Do boo boo boo. So right, you're getting demoted. Hold on. I mean, you can make fun of me in private. You're not allowed to make fun of the me public. In public. All, okay. all 300 of the people on here right now just. 300! <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah. you guys, we should have a thousand. It's our 300 Actually, favorite have, people. Though. I know, honestly, because they're the ones, you're the ones that we care about so much. Well, you care about all the retailers. I know, but, I, but are, just, you know. To put the 300 that are on are our favorites. That's right, right now, because it's right. very, very moment. Got to get Sabrina to try it again. Sabrina, try it one more time. <laughs> what? Hey, yes. that big ice cream cone is making me a little hungry here. See? That is a big old ice cream cone. I know. And guess what? Today is Nicole's birthday. <gasps> it is Mark. Yeah. What are you doing? Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. That is a very large lollipop. What are we doing here? This is ridiculous. Okay, are we ready yet? She's connecting. She's on. Ready to roll. Hi, Sabrina. We love you, Sabrina. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Sabrina. All right, there you go. Go ahead and get started. Yep. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome. this morning or afternoon if you are on the East Coast. Um, we both have some things to share this morning, and so... Uh, Do you want me to step out? I think I'll step out. I think that's my cue. Why don't you welcome them? You know, okay, welcome, time. welcome, okay. welcome, everybody. Um, yeah, we got lots of things to share with you. We're gonna make it quick and brief and go through all the details. Mark always gives all the business, and then I end up with challenges. And guess what? If I see you hop off, during what I'm talking about, I'm going to take offense, and then I'm going to be sad, and then you know. Can, even though none was intended. Can you guys, so we got Q&A going on today with you guys. Oh, um, retailers that are on, can you hop off and go to your um, team pages and tell them to hop on? We're going to keep the Q&A light and breezy. There's some things that you guys have submitted via uh, retail Instagram, trainers, coaches, mentor pages, and a couple of other pages. And so um, if you have Q&A here, we'll try to get to as many as we can, but we got Mark and Deanne. If you guys even have interesting personal questions, if you guys want to do 21 questions with them, no. that's kind of the theme today. No. Well, come on. No. <laughs> okay, they say they're not going anywhere. We will answer those that we choose to answer. Okay, sounds good. Okay, go okay, for so it. Mark, you're up. Okay. All right. So we started this uh, daily live because of the circumstances we're in right now. We wanted to make sure that we were communicating with you. Uh, what's taking place, what's going on in the business. And so some of you, especially that are in the South, may have heard that uh, uh, Columbia did uh, vote on enacting a stay-at-home, uh, a, a limited work order, I guess is what we would call it. It's not actually a shelter in place. It's not that extreme. Um, but Columbia has voted on, on adopting that. It looks like it's going to follow the guidelines of the Charleston order which again identify warehouses and distribution centers as uh, an essential business. Distribution center is open and operating as normal. Now remember Columbia doesn't actually, uh, uh, the warehouse isn't actually in Columbia, it's in Blythewood. But uh, and we haven't heard anything from Blythewood yet about them enacting any orders. So as we stand here today, 
pretty optimistic about keeping the warehouse open and being able to continue to ship from there. Um, and so, uh, Jordan, um, why don't you hit me with a couple of the uh, other questions that, that you had, and sure. let's, let's start. Well, you, um, I thought you were going to start on the one thing, but the Q&A, there's not that many questions, okay. but... Um, they, I mean, I mean, there was an update to the policies and procedures that they've ah, seen recently. That, that's, the that's, one, that's the one that I was thinking to be about. Reminded. Yeah. Okay. okay. Updates ahead. to the policies and procedures. Um, guys, it's a very, very um, small update, yet a highly significant update. And one of the things that we've noticed is that uh, uh, <clears throat> oftentimes retailers have a desire to add a few things to their product line that would be a benefit to their consumers. Uh, and and Again, we have this belief in freedom through personal responsibility. And that's been one of our core beliefs from the beginning. And, and as, as some people raised questions about our policies and procedures, uh, internally, after a lot of discussions and discussions with the legal department, with the marketing department, what implications would it have if we made this change? And, and what we decided is, what the implication is, is it will give you greater freedom. And, and so, um, without actually reading the new adjustment to the policy and procedure, let me tell you what it means. What it means is if there is a non-competing product that you can sell it along with your LuLaRoe product. And you know, I, I want to tell you, I want to tell you that this has been a journey for us. And it's a journey of, of coming to respect your rights as a retailer and opening up so that you have a better opportunity to run your business as you would like. Now, what do we mean by a non-competing product? Not clothing, guys. You can't sell clothing. You can't bring a bunch of other clothes in and sell them with the Lularo clothing. But if you wanted to sell hair accessories or belts or jewelry, or um, quite honestly, even if you're doing a different direct sales business, as long as you're not competing directly into the LuLaRoe community with business opportunity, um, then you're safe. So what we're talking about is you can sell. If you're up on a live sale and, and you're doing some other product or project and you say, look, I've got Christie's and I've got Irma's and I've got Cassie skirts. And by the way, I've got some, uh, I got some jewelry. Or I've, got, I've got some essential oils. That's fine. What you can't do is jump back in and say, hey, I've got a business opportunity around this or this or this into the LuLaRoe community. So you're free to sell. You're not free to leverage this community to build your business in another community. Does that make sense? Um, uh, so another question that just came in while I'm answering questions. So I hope that clarifies that. Our intent is to provide you with as much freedom to operate your business as we can. If it's not a competing product, you can sell it. If it is a competing product, and guys, I always use this as a guideline. Is my behavior damaging the community? Is my behavior benefiting me at the expense of the rest of the community? If the answer to that is yes, then you're probably stepping outside the bounds of what you would be expected to do. So if you're confused, don't be confused. Um, we're just opening the doors for you to have greater freedom. Um, I hope that, that makes sense. So, all right, another question that, uh, that, that Jordan just hit me with is uh, when are we gonna start processing damages? Um, right now, damages are processed in the Fontana warehouse, and the Fontana warehouse is currently not operating. Um, and therefore, we will not be processing damages until uh, such time as we are able to return to work in the Fontana warehouse. Uh, and so um, as soon as that is back up and operational, then we'll be in a position to, to, to get back to uh, processing damages and returns. Um, Jordan? Vision 2020. Vision 2020. Um, guys, we simply do, do not know right now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nobody three weeks ago could foresee where we would be right now as a nation. Uh, we have no uh, ability to predict by, uh, by, by the summer, will this thing be passed? Will we all be back to work? Will we be doing 
So we really don't know. We're, we're, we're in a very, very fluid situation. And as soon as we've made a firm decision, either to have vision or not to have vision, we will be communicating that uh, with you the moment that we've made a commitment one way or another. Right now, we're keeping options open. Uh, we would certainly love to have vision this summer. Uh, it's one of our favorite things to do, and it's one of the great opportunities to bring the business together and to share ideas and learning and culture and friendships and all of those wonderful things. But at the same time, we have to respect uh, health and safety for everyone. Should they hold their shipments back to home office with returns until further notice? Um, that would be uh, that would be helpful since there's nobody there. Uh, I, I'm, I, they're probably piling up there, but it would probably be helpful if, if you held them back. That would be helpful to us, um, definitely. Great. Okay. Um, um, so I have questions around the crews. Uh, are we still on track? And I'm going to just, did you hear what I just said about vision? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to say about the cruise right now. Guys, this situation is very, very fluid, and we're working with the cruise line to look at uh, possible uh, rebooking on different dates and uh, recalendaring that. But we don't know when those dates might be available, and we don't know when, uh, when we'll be safe to, to congregate everybody again on a cruise ship. And so, again, that is a very, very fluid situation. In the moment that we have identified what we are definitely doing, we will be communicating with you very clearly. It is our intent to maintain something for the benefit of those who qualify for this year's cruise. Having said that, you guys know me. I'm very, very careful with 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 uh, with expectations. There, I we just simply do not know if we can put it back together and make it happen. We definitely will. If we can't. This may be the year that we all say, well, we sure worked hard and it was sure wonderful and we sure did wish we had gone on a cruise, but we'll get on the next one. I don't know. Don't have the answer for you, okay? Um, so Jordan just asked me the best question at all, uh, of all. What are, what are we excited about for LuLaRoe right now? What are, what are you and I most excited about, Deanna? And I, I'm, I'm going to let you share first because I've been – Talk, talk, talk. You know, as soon as you share what you're most excited about, I'll share what I'm most excited about, and then I'll let you take the rest of the time. Well, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for your excitement. I was behind the camera watching. You probably heard me whisper. And um, with the excitement of this new announcement, and honestly, we're excited about it. We've got to do what we can as a company to, as you do what you do, us together, unify together, in loving one another and cheering each other on. Um, we don't encourage people to mark things down. We don't encourage people to talk unkindly towards one another. I mean, you guys all know the golden rule. Do unto others as you would want them to do for you. So guess what? Let's not try to capture all the business. Let's do the best what we do within the four walls of our home, which includes our businesses. And I'm excited. Uh, when I think about what is happening for the future, you already saw new Morgans were released, olives were released. Um, I, I Somebody was sad that they couldn't get a certain amount or wasn't able to get those things. Mark went on the back office, looked up all those things. We came up with almost 10 styles that were literally balanced across the board. Again, remember, if it is to be, it's up to me. What am I doing to think about the future of my business and how am I creating a successful business balance about making sure that I have all those things? I want to tell you, it isn't, it seems like it, it is the shiny project product, but I will tell you the product that is most exciting is the one that you placed and you pushed, purchased that order came in your box, you did a box opening pop-up, and you got your people excited. Guess what? They get on. They don't know that they're excited about maybe, uh, I had a Presley on, uh, but Jacks are still available. Um, so many of you were so excited about the olives, and I'm excited about the things that I know that I've been creating with our style team. I want to tell you, you guys, there's new styles. There's always going to be new styles. Duh. You know, game changer. I mean, we've been doing new styles since the beginning. Beginning. 
We're always coming up with new prints, new ideas. Um, it's interesting. I reach down to, I go down, run into the floor that is part of the art department. Obviously, nobody's there right now. But when I am going there, I go in and I show them things that come to my mind. You are sharing ideas and you're coming up with ideas. I want to know, I want you guys all to know that our art team, they go out and about. They get out of the four well, sometimes when you look at something over and over, you know, it's like that, that, um, the picture that says, hey, this um, floral print, there's, if you look long enough, there's a whale with its mother, with it, I mean, with its baby. And you're going, no way, I can't see that at all. Remember, it's all about perspective. And as you stand back, or you look away, you come back, it's like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You can't find the pieces, can't find the pieces. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm stumped. I can't even figure it out. But honestly, if you step away, that's what the art department does. They step away, they come back, they come up with ideas, and they think about what is it that is most appealing, popular. Honestly, you guys, there are prints that they come up with. And remember, we started this from the very beginning, different strokes for different folks, some People love all those Aztec prints. Some people love all the florals. Some people love all the solids. Guess what? We got good ideas up, up in the making and coming forward. Um, you guys, the Nikki is awesome. Um, I loved hearing so many people ask about, hey, are you coming up with the, the tank top, the perfect tank? I think you already know that answer. It's summer. All of you are excited about it. You're excited about those things. We're coming up with amazing new things. You're gonna be so excited. They just did a photo shoot yesterday and the day before yesterday. Okay, you can't tell them things. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm no. Not. No. <laughs> no. no. But we do photo shoots. We're still doing photo shoots. They want to know. With social distancing, I promise you. Um, and it was so fun for me to hop in over, when I say hop in, I walked over to a spacious area where they were doing them. And of course it was, we got it, we got to do what we got to do to make sure that you guys know we're moving along really with excitement in the air. Um, if you came to leadership, you saw me wear some of these things. They're starting to come in. You saw, like I said, let's go through them again. Morgan, Olive, um, <clears throat> and Presley's, Jack's. I mean, you guys, <clears throat> we've got new stuff coming. Just know that. Have faith in us. We love you. We believe in you and we trust you. We hope that you trust us. Yeah. All right. So, um, the, the one thing is. What does it just say? Trust is consistent. Consistent behavior over time. We've been doing we've been this for seven that. years now. Yeah. Um, we keep doing the, we <clears throat> keep doing, we keep taking care of, our, of the retailers. Why? Because that, we're, we're in this together. There's no such thing as us taking care of us without taking care of you. We take care of you because when your business grows, our business grows. And we know that, we've known that from the very, very beginning. As we started this business, that was one of our core values, was the idea that if you're successful, we will be successful. Okay. Um, what, oh. One of the things though, oh, yeah, yeah, as, yeah. as Deanne was talking, one of the things that came to my mind very, very strongly was this. The, there is no product ever that we make that is as magic as you. You are the magic. You are what makes the product magic. Your relationship with the consumer is what makes that product magical. The product is product. I'm going to tell you right now, it's great product. And we, we spend a lot of time, effort, and energy to make sure that the prints are great, that the colors are right on for the season, that the fit and the sizing is right so that your customers are comfortable. All of those things we work really, really hard at. But guess what? So does every other clothes manufacturer in America. Everybody works hard at those things. And we do a really great job of that. But where are we unique? We are unique in that you have the opportunity to serve your customers in a way that no other retailer does. And I, I, I don't, I wish if I had a magic wand, if I could open people's heads and put one idea in there that I think would be the most powerful idea you could have for your business is to understand that your customer service is your differentiator. And if you get, if you will focus on that, quit worrying about the people who discount things. 
They, you know what? They discount. So what? You know who goes to them? The cheap shoppers. You know who stays with you? Are the people who are tied to your brand who love LuLaRoe, but love you even more. Now, why do they love you? Do they love you because you're in a, because you're in some multi-group and they just found your stuff on a page somewhere? No, they love you because you reached out to them because you know them by name, you know their children, you know their pets' names, you know what colors they like, you know what styles they like, you know what size they are, you know how a Carly fits them, you know how they look in different pieces of our clothing. And so those are the customers that will come back to you over and over and over. And I promise you that if you will put your energy into developing those customers, your business will soar. And speaking of soaring, Deanne. Well, no, I wanted to oh. say something, and I love you for saying that. I got emotional because I sat there and I thought to myself, you are the key. And I will tell you that, you know, it started way back, and you already know my story, but with doing dress parties, I was really intimidated because I thought to myself, somebody had made a comment about, well, yeah, but, you know, you can go to this store and, and this store that are significantly less than what you're selling them for. You know, and, and when I was picking up dresses, they said, well, you get to sell them for $35, and I knew the retail price were these between $70 and $80 a piece. How was I going to sell a $35 dress when in, in the stores, and you know which ones they are, um, we're selling them for a, selling a dress for $18. It's always going to be like that. And you know what I did? I took Mark's advice, and that's why Mark is willing, and, and that's why I got emotional thinking. He got it. He's always gotten it. Because I needed as I drove seven hours driving over to Arizona, thinking my very, very first party was going to be at Sabrina Langford's. And I thought, how am I going to convince those 70 people that what I have is worth it for them to show up and buy from me? Of course they want to buy a $35 dress. Why? Because I'm offering quality. I'm offering service that they can come and shop and buy it and go. And honestly, you know, we're gonna get back to doing in-home pop-ups and, and events and everything else I think, I like that. But I will tell you, it, it spilled on over that same fear extended when I was selling skirts. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I knew that, that other stores sold them for half of what I was offering for them. But you know what? I never wavered. I never marked down anything. And do you know why? Because when I marked it down, that meant less food for my babies. That meant less groceries for me and my family. That meant less money that could take care of the finances. Now, I'm gonna give you reassurance. In this industry, people are still buying. I guarantee you they are still buying. People are still in the grocery store. They're not shopping around what is the markdown? They're shopping for what they need for their family to function and move forward, okay? Gasoline is what it is. You know, all the things out there. Nobody has taken and slashed prices immensely. Follow me as I move over here, okay? Wait one second, let me jump in. Wait, you jump in over here. I'm gonna jump in over here with you. I just want you to know that I track retail sales week oh. over week. And, this is good. And yesterday, really good. yesterday, retail sales were up 12% over the over the previous week. You guys, for, for it was so good. So it was up 12%. Now, a lot of you are going, yeah, but last Thursday was really rough. Well, here's the really good news. It, we're only down 10% from two weeks ago where we were not in the middle of all this commotion. And so and you would think a little that bit it would of a, be yeah, like 10%, 80%, re yeah, 10 reduction tells me that that is simply, that is a little bit of residual fear. That's all that's affecting that right now. People are in the market, people are buying, business. people are back, remember a couple of- And that of, fear could be from you as a retailer. Exactly. We the, want you to- the, Yeah, the beginning of the week, I said we were on the event horizon of change. We're now in it, people are now looking for normal, normalcy. They're back to trying to get life back as normal. This is your opportunity to be there for them as they look for a place to get a little retail therapy. So anyway, 
I'm going to get out of the way. We've gone longer than we were supposed to. So okay, you go. Okay, last message for today. I looked at this board as it is literally um, as we pivoted right over here. You know what I see behind me? Wings. Every day, I want to challenge you to get out your wings. Nobody knows how to do this business, and I have said this to you over and over and over. Nobody can do this better than you. Nobody. You guys, I'm hearing messages from people that um, those that were able to go on their spring break vacation because we weren't going on the cruise. And while they were on the spring vacation, they were able to pop into other retailers, and that was before we were on this social spacing. But they took and they, they not only worked their business while on vacation, but they created a relationship with other retailers. And when they did that, they also created a bond and relationship with their customers. We're going to go back to that. Okay, so my challenge to you today is this. These wings represent courage and confidence. I want you to think about it. Every day, I got to get up my wings. I got to fluff them up. I got to get them all stretched. And I got to figure out what am I going to do to be on purpose and to be the passionate, incredible LuLaRoe retailer that there ever was. And guess what? I know that I'm not in it alone. I don't do this business alone. You know what I do? I follow you. I get messages from you. I'm now, as you know, sending out videos. Remember my challenge from yesterday? I hope that you reached out to five to ten people and left a video, a video text on each person that you maybe have been buying from you. And you guys, I want to challenge you to let that roll over for the weekend. Don't stop doing that. My challenge for me is to make 60 videos a day. You guys, oh my God, every day. My wings are stuck to me. Every day I go out of bed, I go, oh, I don't know if I want to do this today. Do I have it in me today? But guess what? I get up, I shower, I show up, I put my makeup on, is if I am going to be doing the things that I normally would do, and that was to get up and show up for however many are going to be watching me and responding to me. You guys, you know what you're doing? You give me wings. You give me wings by when you respond to my videos, okay? So I'm going to do those things that I need to do. I want to challenge you to get your wings out. Let's all do what we need to do together. There's nothing that can hold us back, and it's all about growing and building. All right, you guys, we got this. I love all your messages, and let's make the best of everything that we do together. And we'll see you on Monday. Are we doing this tomorrow? No, I don't Monday. think so. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay, today's Fabulous Friday. Let's get going. I got things to do, so I love you so much. Thank you for all that you do. And uh, let your wings soar. Let's figure out what you're going to do, okay? Bye-bye.